What's up guys and welcome to Grom Garage. Today's video is going to be a really simple, hopefully short video. I'm definitely going to put some facts in there that you guys might just need to know overall. Uh, but today's video is going to be about my helmet setup. So it's going to be about the GoPro I use, how I have it all hooked up, how I actually get clean audio, clean-ish audio, uh, as well as just everything that's basically on my helmet. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about how I edit and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in that, definitely make sure to subscribe. I'll probably be coming out with another video very soon about how I do that. As for the helmet, my helmet is a HJC ARFA 11, however you want to say ARFA, whatever. Um, I got a smoke windshield on it, but you don't have to have the smoked one. Enough about the helmet. I really like the helmet though. Um, I recommend full face with whatever you do, especially for the mic's sake, because you don't want wind noise. Um, just for instance, when I have my windshield up, you can definitely hear a lot more wind noise and kind of just buffering. But when you do have the windshield down, even if it's cracked, as long as it's down, it's a lot better. Now, as for the GoPro, the GoPro is a GoPro Hero Session 5. Highly recommend, do not get the Session 4. Uh, the Session 4 has had so many issues and um, one of my buddies, David, that's actually been in the episodes, he bought a Session 4, it messed up, and he got it from Best Buy, so he got another one. And then that one messed up, and then he got another one. So I think he's on like his third or fourth session, original session. So the Session 5 does not have the problems that the Session 4 has. Uh, the only thing that it does have um, is the fact that every now and then GoPros have an issue with not wanting to record your audio, but it will record the video when you do have a mic plugged in. The way to fix that, and I found this out through just learning, I guess, is what you're gonna need to do is there's a button on the back of the GoPro. You're gonna need to press that first. Make sure it says mic okay. Once it says mic okay, wait about one, two seconds, and then hit record. You won't have any of those issues. Now. As for the way the GoPro is mounted, I basically just have a simple mount here that I just use the GoPro tape on or whatever you want to call it and uh, put it on there really simply uh, and then in the little gaps where it's kind of like hollow in there, I basically just put an extra piece of that tape just to kind of fill in the gaps. Every helmet is going to be different so you're just going to have to figure out how to mount it to your helmet. Um, also, I use Allen keys on the GoPro, uh, what do you call it, GoPro adapters, whatever, holders, clamps, whatever. I use Allen keys on them. Allen keys are easier to tighten. You can tighten them down more as well as just it looks cleaner. Um, but I have an Allen key in my uh, under seat. It was actually in one of the other videos I released what's under my seat. Uh, but Allen keys are in there, so that's one of the things that, that you are going to need if you do Allen keys. I'm just trying to warn you because if you don't do Allen or if you do do Allen keys, then you're going to be cussing me out when you can't get it loose. So that's pretty much it. Now, as for the rest of the setup, um, well, I guess I should say the GoPro, I do do 1080p, um, not 4K, 1080p. That's perfectly fine for Moto Vlogs. Uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second. The reason I do 60 frames a second is because it's more fluid. 30 frames is more that cinematic, not fully cinematic, that's 24 frames, but 30 frames is a more cinematic look and is gonna create more blur. I do 60 frames for two reasons. One, when I turn my head fast, it just makes it look a little more fluid and more realistic or lifelike. Also, when you shoot 60 frames a second, you can take the speed in uh, the editing software and lower it to half speed uh, or a little bit more than that actually. But basically, you can slow down clips. So if somebody does some awesome willy beside you, you could slow down the clip and get that shot and basically make it last a little bit longer. Just the, the times that I slow down clips is actually a lot. So 60 frames a second is definitely needed. You're gonna need a bigger uh, memory card when you do do that though. So that's a heads up. Now I do have the GoPro adapter here. This adapter is stupid expensive, but it's the only one that works because GoPro made it like that. Uh, it's a USB-C connector that plugs into the GoPro itself. And then you have the uh, GoPro adapter itself with the mic input and the USB-C input. Now, 
I just have it Velcroed on, if you can hear that right there. So it's Velcroed on. You're gonna need to sand the back of the adapter itself and then put some super glue on there because this thing is like a matte finish. Uh, it's like a matte rubber and nothing sticks to it. Not even the sticky Velcro stuff, it just doesn't stick to it. And then I have a little piece on my helmet as well. So basically whenever I need to use it, I have it off and then I'll plug it in and then basically just take it put it on the Velcro and then just make sure it's on there. So it's never fallen off and I've crashed a couple times. I've actually hit my head and the only thing that came off in this whole entire setup was the battery pack. So speaking of the battery pack, I do have a USB-C to USB uh, type A, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's just a short connector. Um, I'll put on like the, the, the length of it, but pretty much any length will work. Just keep in mind wherever you're gonna mount your battery pack. You do not need the battery pack, but if you don't have some way to charge your GoPro while you're recording, then you're eventually gonna run out of battery in your GoPro and it's gonna stop. So with this setup, I have a 128 gigabyte S micro SD, uh, which can record like eight hours. And then with the battery pack, it can record for like 10 hours straight. The only thing that I've ever encountered is you cannot record in the rain. I need to say that. When you have this plugged in, you cannot record in the rain because you obviously don't have the door. So that's a definite, definite let you know, do not record in the rain unless you really want to risk it for the biscuit. I don't know why the hell I just said that. But uh, basically, that's th this stuff isn't waterproof. And I've actually lost one of, this, one of these adapters just from being in my pocket and then it rained. I thought it would be fine. It was not. So I'm trying to warn you, do not use this in the rain. Another thing that I do have is a uh, small Ziploc bag, so that way when it does rain, you basically just throw the stuff in the Ziploc bag and it doesn't get wet. Um, kind of moving on, I don't wanna make this video so long. Uh, like I said, USB-C to USB type A, then it goes to the uh, battery pack back here. Again, I just Velcroed it on, just super simple. Wherever you need to attach it, you attach it. So that pops on there. You might want to do like this thing so it doesn't fall off while you're riding. And also when you're like messing with something, make sure you don't hit it. Uh, just not me, but Justin did that in one of the rides. And I don't know how he did it. It might have hit something. I can't remember now, but I do remember this fell off during a ride and somebody picked it up or saw it or something. So just kind of a warning. But this plugs in USB-C into the adapter. If I can plug it in with one hand, let me do two hands here. So that plugs in and then the USB type A or the old school USB just goes into the thing. And I actually just need to plug it in first and then kind of stick it on there, make sure it doesn't go. And I actually have it set up where when the helmet lies flat, it kind of just touches the bottom. So it's not a big deal. Now, as for the mic setup, I have this little mic plug right here. Um, basically, this is my mic inside my helmet. No, it is not my Cena. I've had that question a lot. It is not my Cena that I use. I used to do that way back in the day, and it is absolutely terrible quality. Uh, basically, I have this little emergency um, little tab here that I pull on. Basically, if I crash, they can pull it out and it saves me or whatever. I just take the mic when it's not in use, that is, and I just put it in that little slot. So that way it protects it and keeps it safe. And if you don't have that, you could probably find somewhere else to put it, but I just didn't want to have it dangling. And obviously I don't want to take it out every single time because it is taped in there really, really nicely. So when it, when it is wanting to be in use or when I do want to use it, I'll pull it out of that little slot and just basically plug it into the adapter. I mean, it couldn't be any more simple. Um, there you go. That, I mean, I don't really know what to say about that. Uh, it is a Polson mic. I forget the exact model number of the mic, but it is a Polson mic. So I, I guess I'll just throw it up on the screen. But the main thing I wanna tell you about the Polson mic is, is the Polson mic that I bought is a really, really small mini mic. It's, it's really, really small. Um, basically, it comes with a long cord. You're gonna to have to tape that cord up so that way it's kind of out of the way. And then you're going to need to put that mic in your cheek pad. Do not put it um, in the front here, like right here. Try not to put it right there. Try to put it in your cheek pad 
right along this edge. That's where I put mine. I've seen people put them in the front and I, I don't see too many issues, but there's definitely less wind noise if you just put it in the cheek pad here. Now, I don't know if you could see this, but I do have a little bit of fur coming out of that cheek pad there. What that is, is it is a windbreaker or they call it a dead cat. I actually have another one. This one's a little big, but this is a dead cat right here. It's actually supposed to go on like a mic that, you know, you put right here, um, but I just don't use it because who wants to see this? This looks retarded. So um, I don't use this one. So this could be one that you put there, but this one's honestly just too big. Um, I'm sure you can cut it a little bit or something, but just for showing you purposes, this is what they look like a little bit smaller than this. Um, like I said, but basically I just have it tucked in there. I'll put uh, a link or a picture of what I used exactly, but it actually had like a sticky pad piece that I put on there. Um, I might have a clip from Justin's video where we put his helmet together, but we used a little sticky pad, put that on there, and then we put the dead cat over that. So the sticky pad holds the dead cat on and just surround the mic with the dead cat. This is gonna pick up most of the wind noise, not all of it, most of it. That's another reason I say put it in the cheek pad is because your voice is obviously gonna carry in through that cheek pad, uh, but not the wind as much. But again, when you do have this open, it doesn't really matter when's gonna get in. So that is another thing I highly recommend is that dead cat. Um, other than that, I'm just trying to think. I, I do have uh, like duct tape pieces that I just cut, really small duct tape pieces that hold all the wires in, including the Cena wires. I haven't said that, but I do have a Cena 30K here. It's the brand new Cena. Um, I like the Cena 30K because it does have the mesh intercom mode. So if somebody else has a 30K, you could just press one button. So that is really nice. But if you're looking to buy a Cena, I would honestly recommend just looking at the Cena 20S. Uh, it has pretty much all the features of the 30K, except it doesn't have the mesh mode um, and a couple other features. But other than that, uh, one thing I did wanna say that I just thought about is if you do do the battery pack, keep in mind to keep this charged. Uh, your GoPro is gonna keep charged. As you can see, it's charging right now. Uh, but Whenever your GoPro is charged, this will eventually die. This one is a RAV power one. It's try to get a smaller one as well. Uh, but basically I could just click on it and look at, see how much it's charged. So it's two out of four. So I know I got about four-ish hours, maybe two hours at the minimum, something like that. But if you do see yourself recording a lot or you just seem forgetful, then you could definitely just grab another one, which I have. I have been forgetful uh, a couple times, so I actually have another one with another piece of Velcro on there. So that way if I'm recording and I'm doing a two-day event or something and I just have totally forgot to charge that, then all I literally have to do is unplug that one, unvelcro it, plug in the new one, Velcro it back, and there you go. So the only thing I will say with the battery packs is sometimes they give issues charging the GoPro. The best thing I've seen is you unplug this and you press the button and then you plug it back in and I mean, you see it's working now, but sometimes it does give an issue, so that's kind of a heads up. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Just try to keep your helmet set up as clean as possible and uh, prepare to be looking like a robot. I mean, that looks absolutely hideous, but you know what? During a video, people will see this and know that you are really serious about uh, trying to get out some decent video quality. So people start doing some crazy stunts or something. So anyways, but all right, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I don't really know anything else to say. So definitely if you're interested, the next video I plan on making in this kind of series help guide, whatever is gonna be how I edit my videos and what I use and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, definitely make sure to check that out. It'll be out pretty soon. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely make sure to like, and if you have any questions about anything that I didn't go over, or maybe just something that I need to explain better or whatever, just leave it in the comments section below. I'm really, really good about answering comments. So, all right guys, uh, I think that's gonna be it, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks.